Welcome to this brief overview of AppGyver Composer Pro. We'll be showcasing four mission-critical apps built with zero lines of code, as well as giving us a glimpse to how the platform is used in practice. The first app is Voima Gold, one of the fastest growing fintech companies in Europe. The Voima Gold app enables anyone to buy, own, and sell physical gold securely and effortlessly. It runs on native iOS and Android, as well as mobile and desktop web, all from the same Composer Pro project, with everything in the app adapting responsibly to the device and form factor in use. Let's see how the user interface for Voima Gold was built. As we can see, everything is done visually in Composer Pro. We can drag and drop in new components, configure their styles and properties, and at all times we can see exactly what our app will look like via the what you see is what you get view canvas. As we develop, we can also preview our app live on any number of connected devices by using the AppGyver Preview Companion app. We can construct user interfaces of any complexity with features like themes and composite components bringing even higher productivity and reusability across our apps. In addition to the ultra-responsive design, there are millions of euros worth of transactions flowing through the Voima Gold app, so security is paramount. With 2048-bit encryption and biometric security, Voima Gold is, in all respects, equivalent to a fully-fledged banking app for gold. All of this was built with Composer Pro, with zero lines of code. Next is an app that DHL has been using for the Europe-wide trailer fleet for management and reporting. DHL owns a vast number of trailers to transport cargo throughout Europe. Each trailer will typically complete a journey and then change drivers for its next trip, possibly multiple times per day. So it is vital to keep proper track of them and their maintenance needs. The app allows DHL drivers to use their mobile phones to submit real-time reports as they hand over or receive a particular trailer. Let's see how some of that logic is constructed in Composer Pro. One essential feature in the app is the ability to report new damage to the trailer. Here, we have the component for visually reporting the position of new damage or defects discovered on the trailer. When the user taps the component, we want to open the camera, then pass the captured image to a new page so we can display it and let the user fill in the rest of the required data. Much like user interface, AppLogic is constructed visually in the Composer Pro Logic Canvas. Here, we start with the component tap event, connect it to the take photo function, and then to the open page function. Then, we tell the open page function to pass a photo parameter to the next page. To use the photo captured by the previous node, we simply select that output from a drop-down list. The app also interfaces with DHL's trailer fleet master data, includes role and region-based authentication, and has localization for multiple languages, again, all created with zero lines of code. Our third case is a maintenance app for FinGrid, a public company responsible for Finland's nationwide high-voltage electricity transmissions grid. The app is used by field workers as they perform maintenance work on the power grid throughout the country. The app interfaces with FinGrid's Maximo ERP system and is fully offline capable. A local database of over 1 million records provides the necessary information for the field workers to complete their duties, even when there's no cellular network available. Once internet connectivity resumes, stored changes made to the data are synchronized back to Maximo. Let's see how we can connect data to the user interface in Composer Pro. Here, we have a page to collect and display meter readings, just one of the many types of data used by the field workers. We have here an element to display a single meter reading, but we'd like to show a list of historical readings instead. We have already defined a data resource for our meter readings, so we add it to this page and pass it the appropriate parameters. Then, we can set our meter reading component to repeat itself based on the data. After this, we bind the text labels in the component to our dynamic data fields, and Composer takes care of everything else, updating our UI automatically as the underlying data changes. The app also features secure login with Maximo credentials and a native map that shows the user where their current work orders are located. And finally, we have Verge, an electric, high-performance motorcycle manufacturer. They are using apps built with Composer Pro to run their entire factory operation. From inventory management to assembly lines and smart TV dashboards, the whole process is facilitated with a number of different apps, all interfacing with the back-end ERP system. Here we have one of the screens in the assembly line app. We have a component showing the number of remaining assemblies. However, in the source data accessed directly from the back-end, we actually have multiple numbers and we want to show their average here. Instead of writing code to calculate the average, we can use formula functions. Formula functions enable us to access any data in our app and then combine and transform it as needed. It works very much like Excel and it's super powerful. For example, to calculate an average, we start by picking the appropriate source data, in this case, remaining assemblies. As we can see, it's an array of numbers. We then choose the right formula function to wrap around our data. We notice here that there's a huge number to choose from, including average. 
Once our formula is complete, we can see that the average is calculated correctly, as expected. Now, whenever the underlying data changes, our user interface updates automatically with the result of our formula. With these and all other features provided by Composer Pro, Verge has been able to craft apps that are always purpose-built for their specific task, while keeping the overall architecture very clean, and as before, created with zero code. This video gives only a tiny glimpse into what's possible with Composer Pro and visual development. Still, there's much more to discover. You probably wouldn't believe us here if we told you. Sign up today. It's your turn to show us what you can do.